Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my content. I really, really appreciate it. If you're new here, you are so much welcome. My name is Daisy from Kibera Slam back in Kenya, but now we are in Tanzania and to be specific, we are in Dodoma. So this is where I've been calling home for the last two nights. This is how this place is like so beautiful and clean as it is big nice windows to allow fresh air and sunlight as i speak it's 1 26 a.m i just want to leave out i'll be traveling from dodoma to zanzibar i hope i'm not late because i was editing some videos so even right here we have working table so one trick when you are just leaving from a hotel or lodge you check on your sockets to ensure that all of them they are closed check on the beds check on the windows so that they are well closed because you want to get um or you want to leave the place clean check on the taps as well so everything is set everything is set no lights on no sockets on so guys now oops wanna So my bag so heavy. This is so heavy. I always carry two bags. We have one at the back. I hope you can see it clearly. And then the front one. The front one carries everything. My gadgets, my phone, my GoPro camera, my charger, earphone, money, passport, yellow fever, name it. Every other thing. So we want to go... Um, it's been a nice day here. My host is called Eunice. I'll do a video of um, the home tour. Be sure to check it out when you come here in Dodoma. Make sure to contact Eunice. Make sure to come here. It's just a few kilometers from Dodoma CBD. So, wow, this is how it looks like. Ooh, so clean and so nice, guys. So we want to leave i'll miss this home because i felt like home when i was here in by the way this is the kitchen it's very clean actually you find everything everything that you want windows so yeah sockets are closed we have our key so we just want to leave right now i hope i'll i'll reach to zanzibar early because i've not yet booked I feel like that is one trick that I should learn as now after uh, now that I've started traveling. I don't necessarily have to book all the time online because the cost must, might be cheaper when I book on the ground. So I'm sure it's closed. And then I want to also close this one. Yeah. So guys, this is how the outside looks like so beautiful you can come here chill and relax as well so this is how this place looks like so i want to leave her her key and then you go out it's really sunny right here very sunny so i believe from dodoma to oh i've passed <laughs> from dodoma to where i'm going it's like two hours so let me just leave her keys um So, oh, I don't know if the gate is closed. Oh my goodness. You know, it's like I've closed the gate. Oh no, yeah, it's fine. Oh. oh, guys, so we are out. And this is how I feel really heavy. Oh my goodness. This thing is so heavy. What? I think soon I'll just buy a suitcase, the one that you just drive it on the on the road because i just feel the what is it called the weight on my shoulder it's so heavy so this is how this place basically looks like mm, so clean so serene so if you are a tanzanian youtuber watching me please let's connect oh my god because i feel like if you connect with someone from a different country it's very easy 
compared to when you're doing it in a new country alone so my stay in uganda was pretty um smooth because i had alice alice akelo she was hosting me but now here i have no one but i'm not complaining anyways it's so nice so this is how it looks like and all the time i'm saying this i just feel like tanzania is much of mombasa because first of all i feel like the climate is almost the same and also buildings are painted white so i feel there is a resemblance between mombasa and tanzania so let's go oh there's a tuk tuk there i wish it stopped oh jeez so heavy so guys i've found a border border so it's 3000 tanzanian shillings you know you have to bargain you just have to bargain because if you don't you'll be overcharged so he was saying four but now i've bargained it's 3000 3,000 it's like how many Kenyan shillings? Let me check. It's like 16, 60, 187 Kenyan shillings, yeah. It's around 1.5 dollars. So we wanna go and then see how this one goes. I hope I'll get a bus as fast as possible because now it's around 1.34 p.m. already in the CB I think Dodoma CB it's like the central business district so I'm just waiting for my change I have money in my M-Pesa M-Pesa is the Kenyan um, electronic way of storing your money so I'm just waiting to withdraw money from my M-Pesa and then I change it to Tanzania maybe find something to eat and then later board a bus so yeah this is how this place looks like actually it just looks like Mombasa look at how white buildings are around here yeah so I hope to get an M-Pesa so that you can withdraw my money um, so guys I'm done exchanging the money but I always prefer when you're traveling, you just um, get your money in cash because it's hard to really exchange. Because you know now for us we have M-Pesa, but for them they have, I don't know, Vodacom or something. So before I bought the bus, I wanna go and eat something. So this one is the Julius Nyerere Square. Actually I came here yesterday and I found really good food. So I wanna go back to that hotel eat and then i come back and board my bus oh so sunny Ooh. hi so we are here guys i want to take lunch i want to show you the how this place looks like Ooh. wow so this is the hotel guys so we wanna eat our food. Barze, kuna chakula ipi, hamalipi. 
I hope you are not recording. No, 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 no. You see, it's my face, not yours. Okay, sorry. But to see Kupele in my hand. I'm humble. Can I come back? Okay. Chakulai. Anyhow much? We're not changing it. We're four. We're not let the bus. Oh no! June special guest. Um. June special guest. Oh VIP. Okay, sir. <laughs> so guys, I wanna sit here and eat. Ooh. So no, I'm not ready to go to the party. Hey, I don't know if I'm going to get any. I'm not going to get any. And it is much. Very much. I don't think I even. Hey, I'm going. Oh, can I go to the store? 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 So guys, this is what we are having. So we are having this is rice, and then you have vegetable on this side. We have beans and liver, and then we have this one is and banana, and then we have chili. So basically, yesterday I was here, and the food tasted really nice. So all the whole of this goes for. 4,000 Tanzanian shillings. So let's enjoy, guys. Hey, we are how to promote Sanitano, Cindy. So guys, you pay first before you start eating. So we want to start eating. So this is one of the hotels that you can find inside Julius Nyerere Square but there are so many hotels that you can find in Julius Nyerere Square and so many activities as well. So one thing I have realized is that Tanzanians are very 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 friendly people in all my stay in tanzania i've never had any one person any one tanzanian treat me badly so thank you so much tanzania for your love for your care and for your support rice because it's kind of sticky it's not it's not like the the one that you are used to it's so sticky so it's so it's so nice um so guys the food was so scrumptious so i want to go to machame machame is where i'll board the buses that goes to 
Dar es Salaam. I don't know at what time I'll reach. So see you when I arrive at the bus station. Woo. So guys, we are already at the bus station. It's called Machame. As you can see, this is how it looks like. And I'm buying myself some fruits. Is it Zabib. Zabib. For English, blackberry. So I've bought these ones. Goes for 1,000 Tanzanian shillings. That's roughly 62 Kenyan shillings. Yeah. So guys, you have tuk-tuks right over here. Wow, a lot of tuk-tuks. Um, so guys, we are here and they have charged me 30,000 Tanzanian shillings, but I feel like they have overcharged me. But anyways, this is the receipt. This is how it looks like. So it's called Emigres Express. This is my name. So from Dodoma to Dar es Salaam and then 30,000 Kenyan shillings. So I'm just waiting. As you can see, um, around we have buses and also cars. So I'm just waiting for the bus to come and then once we'll, we'll go. Yeah. So there are things that I've realized if you're traveling to a new country. One, if you're coming to a new country, make sure like you, you link up with someone or with a local and then always make sure you have cash on hand because at times it's so hard to transfer money from your your countries and pesos or something of the sort and then before you board a matatu or um picky picky that is motorcycle ask for prizes because i feel like they have overcharged me but anyways you're waiting i can't wait to get to my new destination i'm very excited and at the same time i feel tensed yeah Um, so guys, this is the bus that we are going to board. I think it will take approximately 7 hours to Dar es Salaam. So it's called AN Classic. So we want to go in... Wait, Jesus! Oh! Zuri. So this is how the chairs looks like. So guys, I'm at the bus already. It's around 5 p.m. So this is how this place looks like. So we just wait for people to come and then we depart. Yeah. So guys, we are at the bus already. It's 5 20 pm so we are waiting for people to join the bus and then we depart i don't know at what time that will be but this is how the outside looks like it's so beautiful so i really can't wait to reach where we are going to guys i'm excited for this journey yeah Stop over. Uh, now it's 10, 16 p.m. Probably we have around one and a half hour to reach there. So as you can see, um, we have broken. So this stage, you find also some people stopping on this stage. Actually, I was sleeping. So we wanna see how this one goes. <sighs> Guys, we are at a stopover. Uh, 
I wanna help myself and this is how the toilet looks like so I wanna see you when I'm done guys i can't even remember the number of stopover this was because we had stopped so many multiple times i couldn't even get count of it so here i was buying some street food they had bananas they had mshikaki mshikaki is basically my chicken meat or beef cut into small pieces and then um held into skewers it's just like skewers but now they put beef or chicken meat on it so i had a good time tanzanians are friendly i can't um say this enough guys yeah lol and these girls these beautiful girls just hijacked my camera and oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness tanzanians i love you so much so i just let them do whatever they wanted to do with it and once they were done i took the camera back <laughs> basically this is the stopover um we have a lot of hawking taking place as you can see so this is our bus and uh, this is what i've got i'm just going in right now <laughs> are at already at the bus terminus so this person <laughs> and his idea kufika sijui wapi so this is how this place looks like ni twaje hapa magufuli bus terminal magufuli bus terminal sijui wana chukua yako tena go At this point it was already late it was almost 12 a.m. in the morning i had not yet booked my airbnb so this guy helped me get one somewhere i was safe i couldn't film um from now on because i was tired it was late and you understand so thank you so much guys for watching i appreciate so it's around 1 a.m. i didn't manage to get an airbnb so I'm just trying to find one locally. So this is how this place looks like. Actually it's um somehow like Nairobi because I thought that when I come here at this time I'll find most shops closed, but th that is not the case guys.